Welcome back, guys. Let's continue on the conversation that this big fat oppo hippo dude got to start it in. You forced it on me. That went a little too far. Girls are sensitive about these things. True. Once the rumor spread this far, there's not much uh, you can do. But now no one will ever will even talk to us. We don't even know where our dorm is. Very well, I'll show you the way. Really? Are you sure? Are you sure that's alright? They won't start bullying you for helping us, will they? That's not gonna happen. Dude, I, I legit can't say that name. What is that? Arunda? Arunda? The principal's granddaughter. Besides, everyone trusts her. I don't know about that. The principal did ask me to show you guys around. He's the best for the job. No one will say anything about Arunda. Is that true? Then that means we can count on her. Haruka gave us a reassuring smile as if she guessed what was on my mind. It's alright. Well, why don't I show you to, your, to the dorms? Please, if you will. Let's go. As we follow Haruka, a gorgeous building came to view. Is that it? That's the girl's dorm. It has heating, air conditioning, and tight security. It's really nice. No kidding. Then, since the men's dorm is new, it'll be even more extravagant, right? Yeah, I wouldn't think so. That's right, I can't wait to see it. Where is it? Uh, well, it's just up ahead. Come on, move it. How amazing do you think it is? I can't wait to see it. See? Oh, wait, I can't wait. Wait for me. Hey. Hmm. Really? Guys, I think you should lower your expectations. They're gone. What? We ran straight ahead for a while. The only thing we saw was an old check. This is weird. There wasn't a fork in the path or anything. It was there. Where, where? Where's the man's dorm? Maybe a bit further down? Let's keep going. No way, this is a dead end. Could this shack really be it? Our, uh, our expectations had... Rocketed sky high, now plunged like a lead balloon. Ah, uh, uh, you guys are so fast. We knew this shack would be our what? We knew this shack was going to be a um, be our home. By your sad face. I'm sorry. Transfer is so sudden. We didn't have much time. No time, but still, isn't this a bit half too fast? At least it's got air conditioning, right? Sorry, it doesn't. They said a heater and an air conditioner wouldn't help in there. I see. Dude, he's so mad. But look at the difference between this and their dorm. We have to carry ourselves all the way to this remote island to get this awful reception. I'm terribly sorry. Don't blame Haruka. She didn't build it. That's true, but still, this is... We shouldn't have seen the girl's dorm first. The difference in scale was what... was bringing us down. Suddenly, I'm not sure it was a good idea to move to this island anymore. Stop being always sensitive, Dongo. It'll work out. 
together we can get through anything. I wanted to think we managed. But there was such... what? But it was such a letdown between the ideal and our reality. That I didn't have much confidence. Oh, I'm really sorry. Please let me know if you have any trouble. I'll try to get the principal to do what we can. Thanks, but this isn't really your fault, okay? Thanks. I didn't expect that I'd be the one who needed needs encouragement. Encouraging? Sorry, encouraging. She tapped her head and stuck out her tongue as she smiled. But it was a restrained smile. I had to say something to lighten the mood, but didn't know what to talk about. So what now? Shall I show you around somewhere else? Everyone was so depressed that no one could even answer her question. Hey guys, let's just drop our stuff for now and rest. We can ask her to come back after a break. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll be heading back then, but if you need anything, just let me know. Thanks. Urko waved as she left. Once we lost sight of her, we felt like a pack of abandoned dogs. I think we'll be able to get used to living in this shack. Everyone glanced at the shack with disgust. That was our new home. It felt... Wait, what? It had been our final hope. So this was... Wait, so this shock was severe. So this shock... So the shock was severe. Shit. And I skip words and I just replace them. Uh, should we go inside? Kind of reluctant myself. I'll go put my stuff down. He was back as soon as he walked inside. He was covered in sweat. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a sauna in there! You can't live in a place like that! But so. Sun still high. The roof, it, the roof's just a sheet of iron, right? That's going to turn into a hot house in the afternoon. At least the room kept out rain, right? Okay. Both were equally big problems. If we kept standing here, we would wind up with heat stroke. But for now, we wandered over to the shade. I'm hungry. You don't get dinner tonight, remember? Stop. Don't remind me. How much longer until breakfast tomorrow? Must have been starving after how much he threw up on the boat. Well, it's no use staying here. Let's go for a walk. Heat stroke, fellas. Heat stroke. Are we allowed to walk around? I thought we are supposed to be confined to our room. I'm just trying to lighten the mood. I'm hungry. Wait, neither our normal nor our sexual appetites have any outlet, so... What? I feel like we had 90% of our youth stolen from us. I know we brought a part of this on our... Wait, I know we brought part of this on ourselves, but we're finished. Even the ocean breeze, which felt so good when we arrived, now feels like an annoying mockery of our situation. We all stopped at a point overlooking the harbor. The port is so quiet now. It was like a festival when we came ashore. I think we've been had. Oh, that's so weird. I thought you hear like cop cars and ambulances and everything going off. Um, couldn't have imagined how quiet it was. What? How quiet it got at night. It felt like magic had been cast on the island. We looked down at the port and reflected on all of our dreams that have been crushed by this island. No one said a word. No one moved an inch. No one knew what to do from here on. 
Maybe this is karma for what we did. Maybe we felt like we had ruined everyone's party. I thought I'd be popular without having to say anything at an all-girls school. I've had a breakthrough on popular men or on popular everywhere. Don't be so hard on yourself. Something good will happen. But everyone treats us like criminals. Tripping up at the starting line sure hurt us bad. They, they stay away from us like we're perverts now. Honestly, I think that was a big mistake. Those rumors spread in no time. I'm sorry. It was uh, shocking to see Apo being so honest. He really must be feeling weak. Actually, it wasn't just Apo. We were all weak. Girls weren't talking to us. Our room was a shack. We thought that everything would go great for us if we came here. But that was all just an empty dream. But we still had hoped for some kind of major change. But I guess things would just stay the same. What should we do now? I looked at everyone's faces waiting for someone to answer me. Do you honestly think that something good's going to happen to us here? None of the girls will even talk to us. I'm not even going to get a girl here. Any girl here. Real girls are scary. Hmm, Dango, you seriously sound like a loony just now. I'm scared of what they're saying about us, too. True. You're right. We were all filed. What? We were all filled with a sense of despair. The sky was blue, the clouds were white, the green forest was everywhere, and the blue ocean was all around us. This was supposed to, uh, this was supposed to be the perfect summer, yet our hopes were completely dashed. Uh take a few deep breaths so that we so I like, clear my head. I take a few deep breaths so I can clear my head. This kind of thing happens sometimes. There were some crazy moments, but there were also some pretty cute girls. Maybe this was a great island. But maybe not for us. Should we go home? Everyone raised their heads as if they didn't understand me. Go home. How? Oh, we don't have any way to travel. There are boats in the ports, right? Let's steal one and make our escape. Are you serious? You want to go home? You sure? Okay, you're sure we all studied so hard to pass the entrance exams. I know we're in bad right now, but there's nothing but girls here. If we keep it up, maybe we can get at least one chance. Year didn't continue. Whatever, I don't care anymore. It's impossible to do anything when you feel this down. Right? So let's do something really crazy. Let's steal a boat and sail home. Yeah, why not? Let's stun those girls who talk bad about us. Let's show them what we're capable of. But none of us know how to pilot a boat. We'll figure out somehow. I have a, my motorcyclist license. The boat said... What? The boat said Mahana on the engine. So I bet it runs the same. They said Maha, actually, Maha, or Mama, whatever. Alright, let's get ready for our great escape. Everyone pack your bags, we'll meet back here in five minutes. We'll show them what we can do. Yeah. That's right, if we fail once, we'll just start over and try again. Our possibilities are still as countless as the stars. There's no one here, right? Let's move. Shit, they're running. Okay. Ran with her luggage in tow. Bustling harbor from this morning was now dead silent. We could hear each other and every one of our footsteps. Hey, is it supposed to be this quiet? 
漁師は朝が早いって言うからな今頃はもう家で飲んだくれてんだろ The fishermen who fishermen have to go to bed super early I bet they're already home and finished drinking Which makes our job super easy Let's steal a boat now and quickly make our way home Which boat should we take then? Let's go get the coolest looking one that means it's that one. Move out. You spot an awesome looking boat dashing towards it. Dash towards it. All of a sudden we heard the sound of the earth shaking and the calm ocean surface began to bubble. Let me guess, a submarine? What now? Oh wait, oh the pl uh, the freaking island's gonna raise, right? The sound grew louder and the ocean wave grew bigger. It looked like something leapt out of the leaped out of the, uh, the water at any moment. Something might okay, sorry, fuck. There's something seriously fucked up with this island. But it's just ahead there. We're almost there. All of a sudden, the boats began to sink. All the boats are sinking. Oh, the ocean's sinking. The surface of the uh, water began to begin drift far below, farther down. What's the island rising higher? I couldn't tell. Either way, the water went farther away. Cool. The boats. No way. What the hell's going on? I didn't do anything but watch. Hmm. The islands above ground. The water level sank several hundred meters, or the island raised several hundred meters. That looks pretty cool. Let me get some, uh... Now we can't escape. No one told us about this. What's going to happen next? Because the flowers will bloom. Shit's kind of fucking loud, actually. I'm gonna have to edit out those tits. I'm gonna have to edit out the freaking tits. I'm gonna have to edit out the tits, dude. Wait, no, what the hell? They head out the tits in the freaking introduction.
Actually, I don't have to. I don't think I have to air out the tits because they're kind of bad. Um. Okay. Um. What is it? We sank to the ground by the edge of a cliff, unable to move as the sea breeze blew against us. The entire shoreline had been right before us, but now it had. Wait, wait, now it was incredibly far away, but was far below us. That's not fair. We were even. <laughs> what? We even. Wait, what? We were even failing to cause the mischief, so. We're. What we were so professional about, okay. Tried. What? Nothing we tried, uh. Nothing we tried to do went well. It's like the teeth of our gears were in sync. What should we do now? We haven't got any choice but to go back to that check. What do you think, Kazushi? Well, what we can do. Nothing was going well for us. The floundering about and the trying to change the float didn't change anything. What were. What were our remaining options? We could always try swimming our way back. But if we... Oh, shit. Okay, sorry. If we kept challenging the impossible, we would have definitely achieved something. I felt we had to keep trying to escape. That's impossible. How long? But you know how long it would take on the way to get there. We were on that boat for so long, my stomach turned inside out, remember? I know, but nothing we've done has gone well. Not one thing. What are you guys doing here? I'm guessing. I heard a familiar voice from behind us. It straightened up. Our conditioned reflex kicked in. Can't you, Senpai? Can't you, Senpai? Stared at us in silence. He was the last person we wanted to catch us. Bad. Felt like children who got caught pulling the prank. It's dangerous out here, you guys. I... What? What are you doing here, Senpai? I was trying to get away from the girls. What? You ran away from them? Senpai sounded really annoyed as he lit a cigarette. He inhaled deeply and smoke. I don't know what the hell he's saying. I'll just give up on that. Okay. Cool. Wish I could say that. We were in awe as Senpai puffed a cigarette on a cigarette. Yeah. Saying, uh, Panchu was staring at the luggage we brought with us. Yeah, dude, this isn't what you think it is. Nothing. You're just getting our gear in order. Wait, our stuff in order. I finally looked at our luggage, then out over the ocean and finally back to it, at us. Eat some. What? Huh? Oh, a pan. Okay. Bag rustled as he pulled out some pan from the I ID family bakery. Eat it. Are you sure? There's only one. Just eat it. Shove the bread at us. Eat it. Feel strong. Then bye. I just said thank you, sir. Four of us ripped apart the iPad and gobbled it, gobbled down our share. We were so hungry that we taste what? We were so hungry that it tastes like the most delicious thing we had ever had. Boys. 
Yes, sir. Thank you, Panchu. A trail of smoke followed Panchu as left. Looked so strong and manly just as he walked away. I think I'm falling in love with him. I don't need girls anymore. I'm going after Pantry Senpai. Women are annoying. They're immature. From tomorrow on, we're going for stalwart men. Women are immature. Oh, there you are. Hey. Prince small silhouette was running towards us. Annoying broad. Oh, that's mean, dude. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, gosh. Let me change the volume. It's a little too high. So immature. Yeah, I stuck food out for you guys. What? I bet her food stinks too. Let me turn down the... Was that even voices I even turned down? Or that sounds? I don't know. Seriously? You're the best, Ranchan. You guys. It's just our leftovers, so sorry there's not much. There's rice balls and side dishes. You guys were starving, right? Yeah, I never had a girl's handmade food before. So nice and caring. Women are great. She's gonna charge us for it, I bet. I love girls. I don't know what you guys were thinking with your brains and... Wait, what? Don't you guys ever think with your brains and not with your dicks? I was amazed at how their opinions change fast as a flip of a hand. Of the hand. Actually, it's pretty fast, actually. Uh, this looks great. Thanks. Tikkatakimasu. Slap. Rand slapped Oppo's hand as he reached it. Ouch. What did you do that for? Hmm. What is she pulling? What is that supposed to be? Some kind of riddle? You know, this. A coin. What Rand made the sign for money with her hand? Money? Bingo. What? You're seriously charging us? Of course I am. Why would I want to free you guys for free? Amateur broad. Look, are you guys going to eat it or not? If you don't, I'll go feed it to the stray cats. Fine, I'll pay up. How much? Thousand yen each. That's like... Ten bucks. That's highway robbery. Damn girls, chomp time. Actually, it's probably more like... Nine bucks. Oh, you guys were really starving. Oh, it's delicious. I didn't blame my stomach. I hadn't eaten since getting off the boat. Kazushi, you're not eating. If you don't take some soon, it'll be all gone. I'm... I'll eat. It's better to not have to think about our situation on an empty stomach. So we came back. We just arrived. So our room was empty. It didn't feel like our room at all. Both of the rooms are identical. Oppo and I shared one room, and Pari and Dongo took the one next door. I'd rather have Pari or Dongo than freaking Oppo's freaking silly looking face. 
get the four of us still gathered in one room. We just felt like that right now. I still can't believe what happened back there. How can the ocean just drop like that? That's impossible. I think we're trapped here. I think so too. The sounds crazy. The ocean sinks. The signposts are killing machines that attack. Who knows what else there is. I feel like a bird in a cage. I don't want anything else to happen to us. Not today. I was beat. I just wanted some rest. <laughs> just I was hoping for quiet. Per Perry begin to Perry begin to scream. Wait no, begun to scream. His eyes were popped out. Speaking of the devil, what now? <laughs> Look. Trembling fingers pointed behind me. <laughs> what is it? Uh oh. You too, Oppo. What the hell is going on? Called. Here it is. It's a ghost. I see she's soaking wet. I don't know why. The dripping specter of a soaking wet ghost was our room from, well, was watching our room from the window. Hey, you guys in there? Huh? Haruka? It was Haruka. Why was she peeping at us? For that matter, why is she soaking wet? Her hair was plastered to her cheeks. Her resentful expression made her look just like the ghost of a drowned maiden. If you came back, you should have told me sooner. I was convinced you guys have fallen into the ocean. Wait, so wait, you're all wet because of us? Did you jump in because you thought we fell in? How... Wait, what? How... Wait, what? How could you have? That was an insane fall. Long fall. It is, so be careful not to fall. I'm just glad you guys are here and safe. In fact, she was uh, worried about us. Wait, what the hell did I just say? The fact she was worried about us that much really touched me. Touched my heart. Ruka, do you really want us to stay on the island? I was starting to get worried that maybe no one wanted us here. Of course. I don't want... I wouldn't want you to leave at all, okay? Her answer actually touched all of our hearts. Here was a girl who actually wanted us to be here. Did you guys hear that? Yep. She insists. She left us no choice. Not trapped here. We're chosen to be here. Oh, what's wrong, guys? Did I say something strange? You still want to leave? Nope. We're not leaving. Besides, we can't leave now. Haha, <laughs> true. You had me worried, though. Did you really go searching in the water trying to find us? To try to find us? Yep. Soaking wet. I can see her bra. Br brazier Wow. Like most girls, she was wearing a fancy bra. We could see clearly the lace fringe of her bra through the wet shirt. I like this one better. Just because it might be more YouTube friendly. She rushed to cover herself up. Should have stayed quiet. It securely saved my memory. Really? Draw her for me later. You're kidding, right? Of course she is. Okay, later. <laughs> I don't trust you guys. You're lying. They'll get expelled, okay? Don't make me exercise my authority as the principal's daughter. Expelled? Principal da the principal's daughter. Granddaughter has that kind of authority. Oh, and it looks like there's still some girls holding amnesty towards you guys after this afternoon. So don't let your desires get carried away, okay? 
Some girls have lived in a they lived a sheltered life and have never been around boys. That's right, this is a boarding school. Just as we weren't used to girls, the girls weren't used to us guys. But just like us, that means our feelings should be able to reach them. Got it, we have to be ourselves, behave ourselves. Please do. Actually, there are a lot of girls. Actually, there are uh, a lot of the girls were excited to have some boys arriving, including me. Really? I never imagined that. I thought they considered us nuisance in their garden of women. Everyone's excited. We all hope something different will happen this summer. So let's all get along and have a good time, okay? Yeah, of course. All my buds were nodding at that. But then things are going to be just fine. She gave us a big smile. Alright, I need to get back now. See you boys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. She waved us as she left. She waved to us as she left. Uh oh. Good night. That's a nice phrase. Never had a girl tell me good night before. Good night. Good night. She said good night. Uh, what should I do? Now I, I should have answered Haruka chan's feelings. How should I answer Haruka chan's feelings? Sleep. We also got something. Wait, we also got to see something nice. I think this island might be good after all. Stop picturing her naked. You look eight times more prepared than normal. Well, this might be the last time we get excited over just that. I bet we'll have a lot more happy accidents in the future. After all, this place is full of girls. Soon, panty shots and bra shots will be so common that we'll be saying, Panty shot, what about it? That's so mature. I'm glad our escape attempt was spoiled. I look forward to tomorrow. Only a few minutes ago, we were depressed, and now we were excited. Being simpletons isn't all bad. We can't forget the bad things and do our best. It's not like we're leaving this island now. Okay, guys. See you guys in the next part of this, guys. Bye-bye. See you later. All of these.